So this is number one, to investigate the variation of the resistance of a metallic conductor with temperature. We have our metallic conductor, which is just a copper coil inside here. It's in glycerol, it's in oil, so that uh, the temperature is more stable than the water. Okay, the water will heat up very quickly. The oil will heat up a bit slower. We have the thermometer going in and we have the probes coming out here that we'll attach our ohmmeter onto. First, we need to get the internal resistance of the ohmmeter. So what are we reading there? So the internal resistance is 0 0.7 ohms. And we're going to connect it up to get our initial reading. So our initial temperature is 22 degrees. And what's our measured resistance? 4.5. Right, so measured resistance is 4.5 ohms. What's the actual resistance? 3.8 ohms. Okay, so we're going to put the Bunsen burner underneath and start heating it up. Okay, so we're coming up on 30 degrees there now, so I'm going to take it out. Let it rest in here so the temperature becomes stable. Okay, so let's say 32 degrees, what's the resistance? 4.7. 4.7? Yeah. So it's gone up by 0.2, so it's now 4.0 ohms. Okay, so the internal resistance stays the same. Okay, so we're going to go put it back in and we'll come back when it's close to 50. Okay, so we're coming up on 40 degrees there now. We take it out. Give it a moment to settle. 45 degrees. What's our resistance? Uh, 4.8. 4.8. Wow. So the temperature is rising much quicker now. We're coming up on 55 degrees. So I'm going to take this out. We'll give it a moment to settle. 57 degrees. And what is our resistance? Five exactly? Yep. 5.0 ohms. So we've gone up by another 0.2, so we're at 4.3 ohms. Okay, so 70 degrees. What is the resistance? 5.2. So it's gone up by another 0.2, so we're at 4.5 ohms. So we are up above 80 at the moment. Now, as you can see here, that the water is starting to boil, but the oil in here is going to be at a lower temperature than that, okay? Um, because it's heating up a bit slower than the water is. So we'll let this steady on. We're going up above 80, so I'd say we're only going to really get two more, um, two more readings. We're at 83 degrees. What's our resistance? Um, 5.3. 5.3. Ohms. So we're going up by 0.1, so that's 4.6 ohms. So let's just give this a moment to settle down, see what our final temperature is. Okay, so our final temperature is 93 degrees Celsius. And what's the resistance? Sorry? 5.5. Excellent, 5.5 ohms. So once we take away our 0 0.7 ohms internal resistance we are now up to 4.8 ohms okay so a quick analysis of the results then from this one and um, we can see the table here which are different uh, temperatures and resistances so these are the actual resistances and um, i've already taken out the internal resistance of the leads and the ohmmeter which was 0 0.7 ohms so this is the actual resistance of the metallic coil at the different temperatures so I have it here and um, we have 22 and 3.8, we have 32 and 4.0, uh, 45 and 4.1, we have 57 and 4.3, we have 70 and 4.5, then we have 83 and 4.6, and then at the final one was 93 degrees Celsius and 4.8 ohms. 
So if we draw a line at best fit through these, we can see that it is pretty much a linear relationship. Um, so this tells us that the relationship between temperature and resistance for a metallic conductor, at least at this temperature uh, scale here, between say uh, zero and 100 degrees Celsius, um, the relationship is a linear relationship um, and that the resistance changes linear, linearly with temperature. Um, the reason for this is that uh, as the temperature of the metal increases, the atoms inside the metal will vibrate at a greater rate. And that means that the electrons that are trying to move through collide more frequently with the atoms. So this is the more collisions there is, the greater the resistance. Um, so at these temperatures, it's a linear relationship and it doesn't um, go through the origin. It uh, passes here because if you think about it, zero degrees Celsius um, is not the origin of this graph. So we can continue on with temperatures lower than zero degrees Celsius and the resistance would continue to drop um, if we decrease the temperature.